Welcome back, folks, to more Baldur's Gate. We're here on Werewolf Island. Now we can talk to some other people here. We'll start with good old Merrily. Hello, good people. I am Merrily. I have heard that you will fight the wolves in the old ship. Is it true? Aye, we will seek them out and destroy them. Please help me, stranger. I have no one left to turn to. What is it, girl? My baby, they have him. You must save him. Oh, please. Stop your sniveling, wench! My baby is alone out there, you heartless outsider. I will find the good old cocksucker if I feel like it. Show me some gold and we'll talk. All cruelty a child's life hangs on your whim. Explain yourself, girl. What child? My baby. They have him. You must save him. Oh, please. Slow down. You have my attention. It's been so hard not knowing. Two moons ago, my husband took my son out hunting with him. They were attacked by horrible wolf creatures. They, they killed my husband and took my baby. Casa says they took the baby away to eat him, but I know he's still alive. They won't go and look for him, and they stopped me from leaving the village. You have to help me. Of course I help you. What does your stupid child look like? Where was he last seen? He's a beautiful little boy with dark hair like his father. He is three moons old, and his name is Paladin. They took him from my husband northeast of the village in the woods. Have no fear, Marilee. No cowardly bitch-ass monsters can keep me from the child. Thank you, friends. Please bring him back. Whatever. Have gold ready. Or a hand job or something. Us with favor. Look, look, one, BJ! BJ time! BJ time! Brave heroes, eh? Fools more like it. Silence, Kerr. Think carefully before you speak to your betters in such a manner. Now you are my betters. Go and be destroyed by the evil wolves if you wish. You are outsiders bring trouble anyways. I will skull fuck you. I lost my dolly. My name's Farthing. I'm only five. In a few years, my papa will let me hunt. Are you allowed to hunt? Indeed, little girl. I can hunt at will, especially little kids. You're lucky. I don't like you. I don't care, bitch. Give me a fucking quest or I'll cut your head off. We can be friends if you want. I lost my dolly out in the woods. The gatekeeper won't let me go get it. Can you get it for me? <coughs> if I see it on my travels, I'll bring it back to you in pieces. Thank you. You can play with dolly on the way back if you want. Thanks, I will. I'll use it as toilet paper to wipe my own ass. I want to wipe my ass with Dolly! Okay, Lug Lug, no problem. By the time she gets her Dolly back, it will smell like ogre shit. not a whole lot of treasure to get around the town so <clears throat> I'm just trying to pick up all the questicles that I can. So far as this bullshit. More bullshit. More bullshit. shall hold here. You look tired. I must rest. Such a whiny mouse. I'll not keep this pace without the rest soon. If I'm me. not allowed to sleep. Now based on the sex of your main character, this would be male or female. If 
you're a male, of course, it's female, and vice versa. You are quite the novelty. Well, I never seen your like before. Well, hello there. There is quite the chatter of you around the village. None have seen your like before. Not even some of the eldest. What is your name? My name is Ronstock, my lady. What might yours be? Be not so formal, me lord. My name is Delaney, and I'm pleasure to meet ye. The pleasure is mine, de titties, I am sure. What do you do here? What do I do? I am history. Forgive me, I mean, I am historian. I keep the stories of great elders and some of the few relics of old. I learned the old tongue. Well, yes, I tried to keep the speech, but we have been our own for some time. What of you do? What do you do? A little of this and a little of that. Whatever opportunity presents itself. I could do you if you wish. Whatever blows your way and such. Then I have an appropriate task if you will hear my words. I will listen, tits. What do you need? It is a simple task, complicated some. The storm you felt that took your ship, it was fierce here too, and a cloak that draped the village center was cast to the wind. I think it is beyond the wall, and will not risk the beast to get it. Will you? A very prominent, though slightly odd place for a cloak. Of what the significance is it? It is from old, as old as we the people, from the ship home that crumbled beneath, and its symbols the past we have come from. It drapes the village center as we use the past to move forward. You know how important symbols be. This is ours. The beast may have, and I need you to get. Will you help in this? What do I get out of this? I will require ample reward. If you find no value in my gratitude, then I have little that will tempt you. I can but ask. Will you help? Ah, fuck. All right. I will await your return. Please be hurrying in this matter. Please learn fucking English. God. Damn! You have less brain cells than Jessica Simpson! And Britney Spears combined! It's fucking terrible. It's a travesty. What happened to smart bitches? My name's Evil. I welcome you to the village, and I wish you luck in battle with evil that ships hold. I am Evolt. I fish for clan in these savage waters. A pleasure to meet you, Evolt. What can you tell me about this shithole of an island? The island is not too big. With good wind, I sail around it in the afternoon. There is a natural arbor of North Island on, on East Island. The ship of my grandfather of Balderon lies beached in the North Arbor. And East Arbor holds our hope for survival. The island is very dangerous outside of the village. The monsters that live in the ship will kill and eat your ass. Listen, outsider, may I ask you for help? Certainly. What is it? I know that you may not believe my story. No one else on the island does. My brother left the village two nights ago and has not returned. I know where he's gone, though. I am ridiculed if I should say. Fear no ridicule from me, Evolt. I have seen many strange things. Good people, there is a witch on this island. My brother called her the Blue Lady, and those of us who ply these waters have all heard her singing at one time or another. My brother, Yvonne, heard her more than most. I think that he went to find her. I think that he is under her spell. I must go and find him. This witch might kill him. He is strong, but he is under her spell. I fear that she will kill him before he realizes what is happening. Can you find my brother? Tell me where this witch is. I shall try to find her. I don't know exactly where she is. I have the sense to avoid her, unlike Ivan. Ivan, whatever his gay name is. Ah, but I've only heard her singing along the west coast of the island. <laughs> that is the song that she sings. Oh, God. Fuck my life. Alright. 
So we're racking up the questicles here. We have the quest of Evald, the witch in heaven. Farthing's dolly. We must find the dolly for our little Miss Farthing. Delaney's cloak. Merrily's son. Werewolves and shit. La Howl. And Guy Caper. You will not taint the village. Stay away from my garden. I don't want my fucking vegetables to be trampled upon. Don't worry about your shitty tomatoes and onions. We're not here to trample them. Your head woman has asked us to defeat the monstrosities on the other side. The wolf monstrosities killed my bitch of a wife. Will you send a few of them to the hells for me? Your wife will be avenged. She's getting raped as we speak in the afterlife. It is about time someone has avenged her. Without her, the fields are much harder to keep healthy. Things will be better for you once we've killed the beast. I'll expand my garden once you kill the evil ones. I haven't been able to leave the walls before. Sucks for you. Ta-ta. Mm. Go well, my friends. May the wolf monsters be like blades of grass before your scythe. When you come back to the village, I'll be here to greet you. Great! Can't wait! Should we just kill the whole fucking village? They seem like a bunch of morons. Holy sheep shit! I didn't use some spells, because we're going to rest and get rid of fatigue anyways. There you go, this should be fun. In Cactus Fulcan Imperium. In Cactus Fulcan. Oh come on, you know he wants to get some cloud killage. <laughs> Double dookie in the air. Cast a dog, cause I don't care. That save us to holy sheep shit. Time to kill! Seems like there's just bears respawning. Take lug lug because this is fucking ridiculous. You're worthless. <laughs> some flowers here. That's actually Belladonna, you'll need that for later. You must gather your party before venturing forth. This ain't fucking good. This 
Good idea, strangers. Excuse my abruptness. Let's... Bitch, how about us? Get the fuck out of our way. Yeah, exactly. I got goddamn werewolves clowning the shit out of me. And you want to parlay? Shut the fuck up. Holy shit, that's dumb. Time to kill! Lug Lug Smash! I err for! Sure, I'll help, of course. Go the fuck away. I'm gonna have to get slayed by a werewolf here. I'll send Lug Lug up there by himself. Here we be. I see no battle, stay your purpose. This is battle, brothers. Join the slaughter. Okay. Luglug -lug joined the slaughter of you, bastard. No one backstab Luglug. -lug. You fucked up. Luglug -lug Demon Lord. Arr! Told you so. Give me that fucking doll. For a stupid little girl. God damn it! Run red. Arr, arr. Saved or fucking rested until it would actually let me rest. Piece of dog shit. Hmm. Young luck leader now! Jondal. Who killed Jondal? The wolfmen, they attack us and search for roots in the forest. Please avenge my Jondal. He was so young. Young and stupid by the sound of it. Get back to the village, girl, and I hope you learned your lesson. You terrible fucking people. Jondal, I have brought you a feast. You have brought nothing but Jondal's death, bitch! Is 
This will not be a quick death. This will not ah, be a quick death. Been here. Say goodnight, Jumbo. Trying to trick me. Bitch. That's the shipwreck there. We're gonna continue to check out the rest of the island first. You're not figments, are you? I'm not wasting any more time talking to figments. Dar deal. Can it be after so long? By Saloon's blade, I am saved. Saved? Do you need assistance, sir? Assistance? I need to get off this fucking island. May I ask who you are? Forgive me, I have not had guests for several centuries. I am Tardil, mage and recent convert to this church of Saloon. I was the guide for Baldron's brave adventures to the Akronom and beyond. That was long ago. I have lived here for countless years, alone except for the occasional skirmishes with these ones. <laughs> ah, excuse me. They haven't attacked for some time. They fear me, it seems, but the younger ones refuse to learn the lessons of their fathers. Periodically, I believe it to be every generation or so. They will attack and learn the lessons that those who came before have already learned. I no longer have the taste for battle, but they are abominations not fit for this world. I suspect they can even be cured of the condition. I write my theories in this diary and keep it. It seems to help me remain balanced amongst the horror. Do you mean to say that you sailed with Balderon? My employer would be very interested to meet you. He would like to know what happened. We sailed to the far end, Corom 200 strong. We returned with half of our brethren dead on the Golden Land's shores, but Balderon was ever the successful adventurer. He wrested the king's ransom and the treasure of the cursed lord of Anacrome before we forced to go back to the ship and expelled from their shores. The cursed lord's power haunts me still. Those monstrosities are out there, are the product of our travails in Google Chrome. Twas a bitter wind that carried us homeward and reveled not in our newfound wealth. We came upon this island quite by accident and stopped to renew our dwindling supply of fresh water. I led the landing party while Balderon set the remaining crew to repairing the sails and fishing for fresh food. My party was hardly out of the earshot of the ship when the curse struck. The blood still stains my robes. Out with it, man! What happened? They changed, of course. It was so sudden. We were speaking about what we intended to do when we arrived home. Galen died first, his throat torn open by one of the changed men. I couldn't tell who killed him, of course, since they were unrecognizable in their changed forms. I reached for the wand that I carried in my robes, but the abominations moved too quickly. Of the ten sailors in my party, seven were lycanthropes. We had no chance. Two of them leaped at me, even while others feasted on the bodies of other sailors. I cast lightning with my wand and killed one of the shapeshifters. The other wolf hit me with great force. I was thrown back against a tree, and I knew no more. I awoke in the dark several hours later. At first I believed I was dead, but when I tried to rise, the pain in my head dispelled that myth. There was blood everywhere. So much blood, the body of a lycanthrope I had killed say several feet away draped over Galen's ravaged corpse. I wretched at the sight of my friend so cruelly killed. I cast one of the few spells I had, invisibility, wagering that if a lycanthrope caught the scent of me, they would believe that they were smelling nothing more than a corpse. I crawled painfully back to the beach. The ship was half sunk in the surf, a huge hole in her side, as if a giant had punched through her in rage. There was smoldering fire on the deck, and in the sickly light I could see the bodies of the ship's crew gutted and hung in the rigging like so much meat. Sickened and in despair, I crawled back into the woods. Dawn arrived and I came upon this ancient village. This hut was sunk in the sandy soil and I crawled inside to hide and barred the way behind me with my final spell. After a short and fretful sleep, I managed to find where the hut had broken through into this cave. To this point, I survive on this freshwater stream in a peculiar sightless fish that lives in the calm pools below. In these 300 years, I have found some favor with Saloon. She has granted me a few spells and wards to better protect my precarious home. I haven't left these caves for many years as I haven't the power to defend myself for long. Mayhap you could remedy that. If you help us fight the lycanthropes, we will help you. I can do little to help you against more powerful lycanthropes. However, this wolf's bane charm will make the younger lycanthropes wary of attacking you. In return for this assistance, I must ask a favor of you. Speak on, good sir! 
I am yours to command. Truly, I am in your debt. The Lycanthrope's lair is in Baldron's ship. My spellbook lies within. With it, I am a powerful mage. Without it, I am a pauper that stands before you. These few words I cast are gifts of pity from Saloon. I have turned to the goddess in my fear and solitude. Perhaps my lengthy imprisonment is but a penance so that I might become worthy of the goddess. I digress. With my spellbook retrieved, I may be able to discover a way off this island. If you go and destroy the Lycanthrope's lair, I would ask that you find my book. Where might this book be found on the ship? My spellbook is in a chest in my cabin. The cabin is next to Balderon's on the level just below the decks. Please hurry back with it. This amulet is all I can offer you protection against the Lycanthropes. Should you need to rest, I hope that my humble abode will serve you well. Cool! Wolf's Bane Charm! Plus two Thacko against Lycanthropes! Plus two damage for the assholes, too! I wear this for now. What you got in this cool chest? Holy shit, alright! I will take that back to Ronstock, my leader. He may have use of your belongings. A book. Ruminations of one. This is a fucking cookbook. What the fuck? Anyways, folks, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Baldur's Gate, Werewolf Island, when we return.